Brian Mansfield. I'm a customer success manager with 4UP Golf Software. My role with 4UP is to help onboard and train new customers that come on board with 4UP. So as soon as uh, a new golf course or a club signs a sales contract with 4UP, uh, my role is to help them create their new 4UP account and then train them on how to use the 4UP software and help them with their initial setup. Uh, so in that process, you know, 4UP has developed a lot of things to help courses be successful with 4UP and especially uh, to help you speed up your check-in process uh, so that you can make sure that you're checking your customers and members in in an efficient manner. And that's the, the point of my presentation today. I want to make sure and, and share some of the tips and tricks and best practices that I've come across uh, in my time at 4UP helping courses uh, to, to make their check-in process as efficient as possible. So uh, the first step uh, is I want to show you some of the benefits of having a speedy check-in. Most of you are already going to know this uh, just by virtue of working in the golf industry, but uh, getting your customers out of the pro shop and onto the course, uh, that's goal number one, especially when you're busy. Um, freeing up your employees so that they can focus on other tasks and things that they need to get done in the pro shop as well, uh, or in the food and beverage or wherever you're you know, checking people in and out. Uh, and just making the check-in process as convenient and as easy as possible for your customers and your members so that they have, you can create a great experience for them as well. Um, just to paint the picture, you know, you, we're all familiar in the golf industry with Friday, Saturday, Sunday, prime time. You know, you've got 15 people in the pro shop. You've got five people out on uh, the putting greens. You've got 10 more people out on the driving range and everybody's waiting for their turn at the tee box. And your goal is to try to get people checked in as fast as possible without them feeling like they're at the DMV. So uh, a couple of things here that we're gonna go over. I really have broken it down into four main points that we're gonna cover today. Uh, the first one is mobile check-in. Um, this one's a fairly new feature that Forup has rolled out within the last year or so to make check-in contactless with COVID-19. Um, the second thing is tablets. So using tablets in your check-in process uh, and how a lot of courses are using tablets in multiple ways. Um, three is allowing and encouraging your customers and members to book online and pay online for their tea times. And then number four is best practices for checking in larger groups on the tea sheet. Uh, mobile check-in is what we're gonna cover first. So mobile check-in, like I said, it's fairly new. Uh, a lot of our courses are not aware of it or at least have not been using it to its full effect. And so um, this is kind of a cool one. Uh, like I said, initially it was rolled out to make check-in contactless. So to make it so that people didn't have to necessarily even come into the pro shop when they got to the golf course. Uh, before 2020, this really wasn't an issue. Everybody was expected to come and check in personally in the pro shop. However, mobile check-in makes it so they can do that directly from their phone. So as soon as they show up on site or you know, in the parking lot, they're gonna be able to go ahead and check in from their mobile phone. The way this works is once you turn on the feature, and I'll show you that in a couple of slides here, but once you turn on the feature, uh, they will actually be able to, they will actually receive an email uh, that has, with their tea time confirmation, that has a link that looks just like the one here on the slide. And when they click that pay and check in now button, it takes them to this page where it says, let's get you checked in. And when they click that green check in now button, it takes them to this next page where it says complete check in, allows them to choose their payment method. And of course it's gonna require them to pay online. Uh, obviously if they're a member, then that's gonna be a $0 payment. They're still gonna click these same buttons, but it's gonna let them go through it without charging them. Uh, but if they need to pay with a credit card, Obviously, that's the only way that you can make it truly contactless. If they're going to use cash or some other way, they're still going to have to come into the pro shop. Uh, but if they're using a credit card, they can just enter it here, complete the payment online. It's actually going to update your T-sheet in real time. So it's going to mark them checked in. And so you really don't have to do anything on your end. Uh, that's the real benefit to you as a course operator and to your employees is that that's one fewer person that has to even come into the pro shop. Just keep it moving as quickly as possible, uh, at least for check-ins, right? Obviously for merchandise and stuff to come in, uh, but for those people that are just coming just to play golf and they're gonna check in, this makes it a lot easier for you, uh, especially those prime time moments. So mobile check-in will save your employees time. Uh, it's going to you know cut down on the traffic through the pro shop. And then um, 
the way that you turn it on is what I'm going to cover now. So right here under the settings, online customer portal, uh, online reservations, if you click that um, allow mobile check-in box, that will turn on mobile check-in for all groups. So uh, once you turn it on, it's an all or nothing feature. You do have to turn it on for all online reservation groups. Now, um, this is the process that we went over for customers. Uh, I already showed you what it looks like, but again, they're going to click the email link. They're going to pay directly from their smartphone, and then they'll be checked in automatically on the Pro Shop. And if they need to, of course, you can still, even if they, you know, if, if you have this feature turned on, they can still be checked in in the Pro Shop if needed. Uh, on to number two. So using tablets to speed up the check-in process. Uh, you can use tablets to check in golfers just like you would uh, on the T sheet. Um, Tablets uh, can complete everything the same way, just in the, in the point of sale, just like you can do on a computer. Um, you can take payments on them. Um, but the nice thing is you can also use, you know, I, I know a lot of courses that in their busy prime time, they're going to have, they're going to pull that tablet into the pro shop, check people in with it so they can, you know, double their check-in speed. And then they're going to later double those uh, as BevCart tablets or uh, starter devices on, on the course as well. So it just allows you to, to make efficient use of those devices. These are 4UP's recommended tablet solutions. It uh, doesn't mean you have to use one of these, but these are the ones that are uh, recommended. Any tablets that can use uh, Google Chrome will be sufficient. But the Microsoft Surface Go 2 and the iPad 10.2-inch uh, uh, is the recommended size, but um, not required. Those are the two that are the highest recommended. Um, the iPad does run the 4UP app, and so it is the one that we typically will recommend. Um, so just to recap tablets a little bit, faster, smoother check-in. You can check in twice as many people, twice as fast. Uh, you can check in multiple people at once, so you know one on the computer, one on the tablet. Uh, and then you can take payments quickly and remotely uh, in the case of uh, things like BevCarts, and then using the same device to track pace of play with a starter. Uh, there's a, a starter sheet that's got that functionality on, on the same tablet. So um, now move on to number three, uh, online payments. So a lot of courses during the pandemic obviously switched over to online payments entirely, or at least incorporated online payments more, uh, especially during you know the initial months of uncertainty during April and May. Uh, and we've had a lot of courses that just haven't gone back because it's been so effective for them in eliminating no-shows. Uh, but a, a big thing that I think we're overlooking is how much time it's saving checking people in in the pro shop. Um, courses are saving a ton of time because people aren't having to come in, especially when they combine it with mobile check-in. So the benefits are you get paid immediately and you guarantee that you're going to get paid if you require payment online. Uh, you can make it optional as well, uh, but a lot of people, of course, will still choose to pay when they get there. Uh, saves a lot of time in the pro shop. Like I say, fewer people have to come in and check in, and that just makes your employees' lives easier. Um, it's convenient for golfers. People are used to doing things online now, and so it's not as big of a jump. Even though golf is an industry that, uh, you know, maybe technology hasn't been as big a part before the pandemic, now it really has moved in that direction, and people are getting used to it. And so it's a great opportunity for you to require payment online, or at least give people the option to pay online if you haven't before. Um, the ability to charge no-show fees, that's another huge benefit that we're going to talk about a little bit because... Uh, if you require that people put a credit card on file, that at least allows you to charge that card later if they no-show. And so it allows you to cut down on, on no-shows a lot. Um, but you know, speaking specifically about, about the check-in process, this is what it looks like on the customer side when they go online to pay. If you have the setting that requires them to pay online, they will see uh, only this option to pay online. Now, if you have it optional, they will see an additional option there that says pay at facility. And so uh, if they've got this, uh, if you've got the setting checked for required, this is what they're gonna see. They're only gonna have one option and it's pay online. Um, this is where it's located. It's under settings, uh, online customer portal, online reservations, and then there's a checkbox there. So that's where you're gonna turn on the setting and uh, you're going to also have to decide if you want to show optional, required, or not allowed. And then uh, moving on to our last uh, bullet point here, um, checking in groups from the T-sheet. Uh, kind of want to encompass a few different types of groups here, and I'm just going to show a brief demonstration 
uh, here on this this next slide. But I want to talk a little bit about regular tea times, uh, you know, foursomes, and then groups that are larger than foursomes, so five sums and above, and then tournaments and outings and shotguns and leagues are all kind of similar. Uh, so we're going to talk about those in the same group as well. Obviously, the first step. This looks familiar to you. All of you book tea times. Um, you know, you've got a foursome reservation here. So that's the first step. But step number two, uh, this is a screen that you've all seen. If you go ahead and check in four people all at once, you know, you've got that tea time, you click check in. This is what you're going to see. So now I'm going to jump over to uh, my screen to do a brief demonstration here. Now, let's say I've got this foursome tea time here. And if I go ahead and uh, make sure that this says four, so I'm looking at the you know, I'm looking at the number of people I'm checking in here. I've got four. I'm going to click check in. They're all under one name, but that's okay. Now, I didn't charge them for carts. So this is just the green fee here, right? We've got four separate green fees for $18 a piece. And what I can do is I can say uh, from this screen, it saves me a lot of time if I check them in together, even if they're not necessarily paying together. And this is the way it works. So even though these four players are not paying together, I can still check just this one box. And Brian Mansfield is going to pay just for his own um, tea time. Let's say he pays cash. Now, as you can see, it leaves the other three that have not been paid yet still, still remain to be paid. And his has already been done. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of Brian's account. The other three are just guests. I don't. I may not even know who they are, so I can't attach a customer to the transaction unless I would like to add them. Then it gives me the option I can add them directly here. But uh, I can pay for them one at a time. But this makes it a lot quicker because I don't have to go back and forth from the T sheet to the point of sale. A lot of times I see courses going back and forth, and it just takes them a lot of extra time because they have to go back to the T sheet, back to the point of sale, wait for it to load. Uh, this way, if you pull them all into the sales screen at once, even if they're not paying together, you can use these checkboxes off to the side to make it a lot easier. And of course, if one of them no showed or didn't or, or canceled or whatever, you can close out of that one or you just clicked too many people. You know, you clicked four instead of three. Uh, you can just close out of one by clicking that red X and I'll go ahead and complete this one. And now it shows that I've I checked in three out of the four golfers. So. That's the best practice for checking in foursomes. Even if they're paying separately, I would always check them in together uh, unless there's some special circumstance that requires something different. Um, the next thing I want to show is a five sum. So if you've got a group of five or six or seven or eight or however many, uh, you have a couple of options. Of course, if it's eight or 12, you can book separate tea times uh, and it might be simpler for you to do it that way. But if you would like, you can, of course, um, just do something like this where you put, let's just say five, and I'll go with carts with this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and check them in. First, let me reserve it to show you what it looks like on the T-sheet. It takes up two spots. And sometimes that's okay, but if you've got multiple, you know, if you've got a tea time right here that it bumps into, sometimes that can be frustrating. So uh, one way to fix that, you can always come here and fix it after the fact, but let's just say there was a tea time right here, I could always, right click and add a squeeze. And if I add a squeeze, that gives me an option to, then I can create a, a five sum tea time here. And it, instead of going into that next tea time, it's going into the squeeze and then I can fix it or not, however I wanna solve that. But a squeeze allows me to give a little extra space there for that tea time to go into. Um, now, checking in five is no different than checking in four. I would still personally prefer to do the same thing where I say check in five, pull them into the sales screen and pay for them separately or together, however they're gonna do it. So that's no different uh, from that point on. Now, the other part uh, that we haven't talked about yet is if you are uh, checking in a larger group like for a tournament or a league, um, Recently, we changed something that's uh, not a huge deal, but it makes a big difference for you in terms of how you're checking them in because it saves you several clicks. So when you create a group, let's just call this one a league, right? Let's just call it league. Let's say we've got 100 people golfing in this league and uh, we're gonna go ahead and use an event rate. Everybody's getting charged a cart fee 
If I put 100 down here and say check in, before it used to list out 100 different T times, which wasn't super helpful. Uh, so we, we took that feedback and we implemented it to say, okay, just change the quantity. Instead of showing every line item, now we're just gonna show the quantity. And so it shows 100, it gives us the right price. I can make it non-taxable if I need to by clicking that button. And all of a sudden I've got the correct price. I can pull up somebody if one person is paying for it. Uh, now, of course, if individuals are paying for it, there's really only one way to ensure that everyone gets charged uh, and, and track everyone that gets charged in 4UP. Of course, you can, you know, some people have different ways of, of tracking payments and everything. But in 4UP, you can track it this way. So you can say, we've got pay and checked in separately, just in case uh, someone checks in, but they're getting paid for by someone else. If we click pay, next to a particular player whose name we've entered. It pulls them in and they've got the green fee and the cart fee for, for me, Brian, and it's got me here making the payment. So uh, that's the fastest and easiest way to, to check people in one at a time is you wanna have their names in before the tournament begins or the league begins. And the best way to do that is to use this Excel uh, import because you can import groups if you can get that information from the league administrator. Uh, so those are just a couple of best practices and tips for, for the T-Sheet. I know some of the T-Sheet stuff you, you may have already come across, but uh, uh, I just wanted to go over that because I've seen a lot of courses not doing it that way. And I think it can save a lot of time when you're in the pro shop, you know, making it more efficient for you to check people in. Um, so the last thing, I'm just going to do a quick recap here. So we talked about mobile check-in. Um, it allows you to do contactless and efficient check-in allows people to pay online and even check in directly from their smartphone so they don't even have to come into the pro shop unless they really need to. Um, number two, using tablets to check in and be able to check in people twice as fast and then also being able to reuse those devices for other things during less busy times. Uh, you know, Bev cards, taking payments, all that sort of thing. Um, and then number three, allowing and encouraging your customers to do online payments, whether you require it or make it optional, Golf is moving in that direction. And the more you can help your customers book tee times online and pay online, uh, the less strain is gonna be on your employees in the pro shop. Um, and then best practices, of course, for checking in uh, groups larger than foursomes on the tee sheet and even foursomes. So uh, hopefully you got something out of that. Hopefully there was uh, some new information there. If you would like to implement mobile check-in or one of these new features that you haven't tried before, uh, make sure and reach out to your 4UP CSM. And if you don't know who your CSM is, uh, we can, you know, you can contact support um, right here in the, on, on the uh, question mark that's in the bottom left of the 4UP page. You can always go there and uh, contact support. You can chat support. They can help you contact your CSM or your AM and we can help you uh, do some additional training with your staff. So uh, thank you for taking the time. And hopefully you got something out of this and I look forward to uh, our user conference. It's going to be a good time.